college rules as well. We'll have Terry with us on our Big Ten broadcast throughout the year. The play leaves us with third and nine. And Garcia retreating, throws it underneath Mikey Sanders still with the interception from Michigan. The nickelback converted wide receiver, one of the leaders of this defense, comes up with the game's first turnover. He's got enough time to throw it. He's got somebody bearing down on him, but throws it off the back foot and just doesn't let it go. Got a lot of room in front of him. Mikey Sainer still makes a nice play. Good hands by him. I like the idea by East Carolina. And Alex Flynn going to bubble this out. This is technically a run play. It may have been a backward pass. Throw. Rose and yes. completes it. The ball comes uh -oh. out at the end. Called it incomplete. And it was De Jesus who had it. Looked like he had it tucked in. Yeah. They brought this already a couple times today. That's the running back, Jerron Keith. You gotta get him, but good luck. Mikey Sainer still, he's like a wisp of smoke. You go to hit him, he's gone, he's behind you, and down goes the quarterback. Wilson is running, he's your faster receiver. That ball needs to be thrown to number one, and you got a touchdown. Low snap. Stewart. Flags. A little snap and the timing off here and Tim Oshak is brought down for a loss. Of course the Ohio State quarterback. The nut guy. He's ripped down by Mikey Samer still. The downs. Down 10. Rips it off his back foot. And yeah, nobody there. Michigan's defense hasn't allowed a fourth down conversion all year. Screen. Denied. And that ball is in the hands of Sandler still. Mikey Sandler still. Taking it all the way. Touchdown, Michigan. Yes. Always have your eyes on number zero, Mikey Sanger still. All over the field. He does it bringing the pressure. He does it with the guy hanging on his back, Junior Colson. He says, get off me, Junior. I got a date with the end zone. Went for the screenplay, but the two-time captain read it. Kept his feet. Sanger still went 71 yards to the end zone. And the Wolverines. And their Big Ten opener extend the lead. Before pulling away. Let's see if Minnesota can capitalize as Calic Mattis, another dangerous throw. He put it in the direction, direction of Corey Crooms and Mike Sainer still, who had that pick six in the game against Rutgers, breaks it up. Well, he's open, but the ball has to be on the outside armpit, away from the defender. It's on the inside of the receiver, and that enables Sane was still to make a play like the Blake Quorum that we remember from last season. Last few weeks. Play action, Cali McManus. He's going to dump it to Jackson anyway. He gets away from the first, but not the second, and he loses a yard. Third down and 12 of the 16. Jackson. And that one deflected and intercepted. Michigan has it. Rod Moore. And the Wolverines. Forced the turnover and advance it up to the 40-yard line. I don't know if this ball slips out of his hand or not. They're trying to find the tight end. It's either overthrown or underthrown, trying to look for the corner. As it is, though, tip ball, tips and overthrows where they end up in the hands of the defense. It's first down Wolverines when we come back. Seems fair to them. Can't wait to watch that Oregon-Washington game. That's going to be great. And they run it with Turner, tries to turn the corner, no. Mike Sainer still. Four of 15 conversions. 
Handoff up the middle. Carter looks like he's short. Not gonna get it. Going on the field. Carter didn't have anywhere to run, and Michigan with a stand early. Seems to get better every week. Hauser on third and four. Dials it up. Rainbow delivery incomplete. Sandra Steele is there in coverage as Trey Mosley, one of the OGs of this wide receiver room. The intended target can't bring it in. Yeah, one of the real leaders of this defense, Sane Rastil. He's only 5'10", but he's in perfect position. He's reading the eyes of the receiver and then gets his head around and knocks the ball away. History and learning about that when he was a player and passing that down to his players now. And here's a good first down run for Nate Carter. This is what they've been hoping for. Hauser to the sideline, picked off. Mike Sager still, he's got room to run down the sideline. Sager still gonna take it all the way. Touchdown, Michigan. Well, watch the route on the outside with Mosley and Sager still. The ball's thrown outside, the receiver went inside, and Sager still in the perfect spot and takes it all the way back to the house. The fourth pick six of the season now for this Michigan defense. Sainer still had a 71 yard pick six against Rutgers. This one is 72. So instead of Michigan possession, it's second down and six. And now Carr's gonna have to escape, slides down, gets hit after the fact, but no flag comes in and brings up third down. On that right now. Second and six, Sainer still coming from the edge and he's right there to greet Maccabi. See, this is a wasted play, and this is something that Hudson Card, again, he's got to understand and recognize. You cannot waste a play by running right into this blitz. Fresh set of downs. Stick with the hot hand. Tracy, can he get away? He's going backward, and that was the wrong decision. Back to the 20. Do something dangerous and punt the football if you have to. Deep drop. Card unloads. He's got it, but not. Close enough for a first down. Jaden Dixon Veal makes the catch. Aller to the sideline and incomplete. Mikey Sainra still. Nine at the 13. Aller under pressure. Delivers. Sideline. Ball at the eight. Play fake. Tonga Vailoa sprints out of the pocket. Throws on the move and incomplete. Mikey Sane was still defensively for the Wolverines. Boy, a dangerous throw there. And I know I think he was just trying to throw that away. That one was pretty clearly out of bounds, but Mikey Sane was still with that terrific coverage. Here's zero. Mikey Sane was still trying to stay in bounds and doesn't. That's just too close for coming. That Talia cannot put that ball in that situation. We've already seen McCarthy today put the ball in a precarious spot get picked off trying to go into the end zone in there Talia gets away with one get down at nine Tonga by Loa steps into his throw and picked off Mikey Sainra still still running he feels like he wasn't down he'll go into the end zone but Michigan forces the second turnover of the game Tonga Bailo was trying to throw this to Caden Prather on the outside. Sainra still worked under that route. And then he felt like he rolled over Prather. There's the pick. Beautiful job. Prather goes in for the tackle. Let's see if Sainra still actually goes down. I don't know. Maybe that ankle, maybe the cap goes down. But that is awfully close. And alertly, Mikey Sainra still up and goes the other direction. Artie has... No. After a quick review, the ball was intercepted. However, the defender was down at the 49-yard line. First down. Yeah, there's that ankle, right? The side of the foot, that ankle. And I was referencing part of that calf, and that is a mistake from Tunga Vailoa. Let's look at a different angle here. Here's Sane Ristil. And as he's rolling over, there is the elbow. He's down, but it's Michigan ball. Huge play by their defense. Terps, big mistake. Tonga Vailoa out of his own end zone. Intercepted. Mikey, he likes it. His second pick of the game. 
And the Cardi boys popping their collars on the Michigan sideline. They try to go to the one-on-one. Ty Felton against Mikey Sainer still, and this ball just hit a wall of wind. You see that ball? It just hits a wall, goes straight down, and Sainer still was there for the interception. Good coverage right there. But that's a tough throw to make, and he's able to come down with that interception. And every time this team needs a play defensively, who's generally there? Thus, number zero, Mikey Sainer still. And they'll give it to him, running right with a little daylight, but he'll go down from some of those throws in that game. He's six of his last seven. Completes this one. Oh, my goodness. Travion Henderson gets waxed. Mikey Sainra still. Sainra still was eyeing him up, and he goes down with the shoulder to the chest. What a hit. Third. McCord dropping. Underneath. Caught. Stover. Lost it. And that is an incomplete pass. The 43. Hill looking. Sideline almost intercepted. Mikey Sainra still has five picks on the year. And he almost came up with number six. The timing for Mike Sainer still is perfect. He knows that he's going to have a route that's right in front of him, and he's on it, and yet the ball is just a little bit late. Deacon Hill has got to know if he's going to throw an outside hitch route at the chains, that ball has got to hit that wide receiver right when he stops. And as soon as Caleb Brown is out of his break, the ball has to be there. It was late, and Sainer still almost picked it off. Down and two at the 30. Play fake. Hill rolling out of the pocket. Throws on the move. Has his man. A loose ball. Michigan's got it. Mikey Sainra still with the hit. Well, the question will be the element of time. Did he have time to make an act come into the game? That twist. And then he turns upfield. There's no question. He had time. He is a ball carrier. And he's up off the turf when that ball is jarred loose. That's an outstanding hit from Mikey Sainra still. Jars it loose. That's a fumble, folks. Play fake, Hill, throws, lost it, in the air, and incomplete. And it was Mike Sainer still off the edge, watch him off the edge, this blitz, offense is right, unblocked, and he's the one that gets to that right arm of Hill and almost picked off, that was Kenneth Grant, 78. He had the chance at that interception, here's Mikey Sainer still right up after the right arm. And Iowa is very fortunate that that wasn't another short field for Michigan. In the review, they said that Deacon Hill's hand was not moving forward, that this was a fumble. I think the more interesting ruling here is that because that they were blowing this dead as an incompletion, what they would need is video evidence that there was a clear and obvious recovery in the immediate action after this fumble so they rule that that's a fumble in review and then they're saying that this is the recovery on the back end now the officials yelling blowing the whistle saying incomplete and then Josh Wallace with the recovery unbelievable Bond was a big part of the win against Georgia but that was his only touchdown in the last five games again they, they test the middle downs boy it's been an average of third and ten Sammy takes off as a runner he's not going to get there they're all over that Michigan pointing and trying to identify their keys. Penix is on the move, flips it underneath, and the catch is made by Nixon out of the backfield. To keep this drive going. Throw. McMillan makes the catch. Fighting to escape. Cannot. Mikey Sainer still, the nickelback, wouldn't let him go. Sandistro, who's been great his whole career in tackling, hit four missed tackles last week. I don't know if he's slept for a week. He's been so frustrated. This time, he makes the play on third down. Outstanding effort by number zero there in the slot against a very talented receiver. Underneath, McMillan upended by Sandra still after a couple. It'll be third and extra long. They're against one of the best DBs in the country. Penix looks the other direction down the scene. It's intercepted by Sandra still. Mikey Sandra still has a couple of blockers. A convoy. Michigan set up inside the 10. Mikey Sandra still. Biggest play of this defense tonight. Look how tight this coverage is, and he decides to put it in. He does have a Duse back here, and he never looked for him. Instead, he tries to squeeze it into coverage, even to the right flat. 
the tight end Jack Westover is open. It's almost a check down. At least would have had maybe a chance. But instead, he tries to throw a Hail Mary into Jalen McMillan. 81-yard return for San Still. Final three minutes. Trying to convert on third down. Will Nixon is not going to get it.